welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I do planner and planner-related videos, DIY tutorials, budget videos, and the occasional new release video of items that I've listed to my Etsy shop. And if that is of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified of when I load a new video. Also, commenting, liking, and sharing this video on your favorite platform does help my channel grow and is truly appreciated. So, what is it that we could possibly be doing today? Well, let me get some semblance of order going on here. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but we are going to make a junk journal. And not only are we going to make a junk journal, but we're going to make an easy one. And we're going to finish up using um, the last few papers of my academic planner. And so this would be number six in this series. Now I've got a whole bunch of things here from that series. And I do have these half sheets and I'm going to use them. But what I do also have are two more pieces of paper. So uh, the ones in the back that you can see here, like I said, um, I need to put something together and send that to Tamika. She is a teacher and I'm thinking that she can use them. So let me just get this organized and we will get started. Now I've been watching a lot of junk journal, oh, maybe we can use some of those, a lot of junk journal videos on YouTube and even some of the easier ones assume that you have some things. So I have some things um, and this doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have old happy planner pages because you know maybe you've never owned a happy planner so you might not have any unused pages because uh, this measures eight and a half by eleven so you know as so long as you have a copier size paper then you're good to go and what else i've pulled out I'm just Hold on. All right, so I got a little fold-out table. I mean, basically, the what you see here is all of my working space. So if I need to store things, I can either toss them behind me on my bed or <laughs> I can get out the little folding table. So that's what I've done. So let me put that there because we're going to need that. I believe, I don't know if this is from the dollar spot, uh, but this is just some paper that's pretty. And I, I like the coloring to it, so we're going to use some of that. This is an old notebook. Book. I've used this before in another video, so we're going to use some of those pages. And I'm thinking we're going to use this file folder. I like the colors. I've got some envelopes from junk mail, or just mail. Some scraps that I've had. This is not even all the scraps, it's just the one that was closest to me. And then I pulled out a sticker book. So let's see if we can make a junk journal. Now, I'm not going to measure anything. So if you didn't have a cutting tool, really you just, I, I wanna get rid of these edges right there. And so start with whatever size paper you have. And then we'll cut the folder once I know exactly what kind of size we need. Now this is going to be a small one because I'm not even sure I'm going to like it. <laughs> so I don't want to, you know, make it too big or whatever. And it doesn't matter that there's writing on it. None of that matters. Really, we just want to use it as a paper base because we will be doing 
collages on this. And from what I've seen from junk journals, really it's just journaling. Some people do planning, uh, some people do collaging, or all of the above. It's just a, a really creative way that goes past what you might do in a happy planner, if that's the system that you're from, uh, just because you're using all sorts of different mediums and tools. So uh, we're gonna start with two pages, and we've got that right there. And what I'll do is I'll just pick one of these. I like this one, so we'll pick that envelope. I'll put this back. And it is still sealed the way that I opened it. I just cut it on the side here. And so I'm not even gonna fold it in half, but I don't want it to go longer than the paper. So that's fine. And I'm gonna fold that and I'm going to pick maybe one or two of these little pieces. Like that one. I like that one. And it doesn't matter that you can see the branding strip. I'm just going to cut this or fold it in half. And if it's longer than the paper, then we'll deal with that afterwards. Now, I sort of buried the lead, but this is probably gonna be a long video. So you may wanna pause it right now, go get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and a snack and then come back. Um, and if you've just done that, hey, welcome back. So we're just gonna be co compiling some pieces. And right now there's no rhyme or reason to it. There is no set amount. I mean, really we're just, we're trying to make something out of nothing essentially. So we'll get one of these. Yeah, we'll just use one. And this one is on the old coil. I think that's what it is. And so if I carefully slide this, because I don't want all of them, uh, then I can take maybe two of these pages. I like how it's got that square punch and if I ripped it I would lose that and then I'll I'll fix that later and essentially we've got our pages for this again fold this in half and we'll fold Fold this in half as well. And it doesn't matter if it's a little taller than the, the pages we have. None of that matters at this point because we can do some trimming if we need to, or there's, for what I'm gonna do with this, we'll actually have another option. And I want this to fold in. And so if you are making your own junk journal, um, if you do have old envelopes or if you get envelopes in the mail um, and there's not a ton of writing, because even this would be okay, because uh, this was one of the inserts with the Discover card that I have, but I mean, just any envelope, if you have uh, just regular envelopes that you've purchased, again, you're just trying to find um, some products that you can put in here. And if you can challenge yourself to do a no spend where you just really literally just look around and see what it is that you have I think this could be a really interesting project so we're just gonna fold some things and then we'll assemble now there's not going to be any sewing on this there's not gonna be any stapling I mean seriously when I'm thinking about this I want it to be as easy and user-friendly if you are a beginner at, like me because I like the concept of it I just don't know if I'm actually gonna like to use it and I don't want to commit a lot of product or time and then just you know it's it's not something that clicks with me because I don't mind the time I just I don't want to put something together and then it ends up being something that I, I'm not interested in and I don't want to have wasted a whole bunch of things because 
I'm not gonna lie, because of all of the different YouTube videos that I've seen, I've wanted to pick up this thing and this thing and the inks and the stamps and all of that. But again, I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> so I just, I wanna play with the stuff that I have and then go from there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be collaging this together. This is going to be my middle and it's going to be staggered. It doesn't have to be um, perfectly symmetrical. It doesn't have to be all even sheets of paper. I mean, really, we're just we're making something that we can play around with and be creative with and just go for it. So just kind of stagger. And we'll put this, how did my things go with the other one? Okay, yeah, so we'll put that up and we'll put that like that. Oh, it's longer than what we need, but that's fine. That's the cut side, so that's fine. So we'll open that up and We'll do the same with this one. Again, it doesn't matter about the edges because we can fix that in a number of ways. And then we'll do our middle there. Now, ideally, at least, well, no, ideally tops and bottoms should be the same. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm going to fold this up and make a little tuck spot. Okay. So let's fold all this back on itself. And with just those few pieces of paper, we have got actually it's quite substantial <laughs> considering there's not a lot in there. Okay, so before we start doing anything to this, can I get a cover out of one side? Well, I mean, I think the best thing to do is cut it and see. And I, I like the tab, so we're gonna see if that works. I'm gonna cut this to make it more manageable, just right in half. And then we will measure because that right there is the edge that I need to be concerned with. And how big is this? So that's 11 and a half inches. So five and three quarters would be the halfway mark. I'm not great at math, so that might actually not be the halfway mark, but we're gonna say that it is. And, and again. And I'm just gonna draw a line, but I'm going to do it with a ballpoint pen. Where did my ballpoint pen go? hoping this works. I don't want to use a felt pen. I want to actually use the pressure of the metal against the folder. And so we're going to go down a few times and that will mimic a score tool. Yeah, because that's just much easier to fold over now than if we had tried to fold it over without doing some sort of creasing. Now, if you have a score board like I do, then use that and just go halfway. But if you don't, that works fine. And having that inked edge is actually not going to matter. So let's put that in there. And we, we will deal with these things here, but it does cover the paper. And I like, I like that it's on the top there. Yeah, so we're gonna make that our cover. That doesn't matter. I mean, we are literally making a journal of junk. I don't, I mean, I don't like that name. Maybe that's some of the problem I'm having with it because um, if you've watched junk journal videos, they turn out so pretty. Um, I think it's more of 
using your stuff. And whenever I watch them, I always think that maybe it's a Victorian thing, because a lot of them lean towards the more old-fashioned Victorian, where, you know, paper was precious, and if you did get letters or, or whatever, you'd want to use up your stuff just to make sure you properly use a valuable and, you know, scarce resource. Because, you know, paper is everywhere nowadays, but I don't think that was always the case. So I'm just reinforcing this, trying not to get too much in the middle. And then I'll come around with the washi. This step isn't required, but I think it just will give me a little bit more stability with this here. And then I'll do the same where I'm going to try to avoid that middle crease because I don't want to crease the washi because washi doesn't do well that way. And then just run it both sides. And you can make this as colorful or as muted or whatever design element you have, just depending on the stuff that you have. And I mean, I have lots of scrapbooking paper and whatnot, but if you have old magazines or old workbooks or old books or just, you know, anything, you can really put one of these things together. Okay, so we've got our cover. So that looks cute. And we've got this. And you can tell where I was past the crease because it's starting to lift again. It's, it's fine. Um, and now what we're gonna wanna do is some of these I will just cut. This again, we, it doesn't matter if it's not fully flush to each other like you'd find in a regular book, but we certainly don't want it hanging past the cover. And this one, I will just fold. That'll make a little tuck spot. And when I see these, I don't, I can't remember if they do all of this before they put it together in their binding system. But again, we're not doing a binding system and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. So I just wanna make sure I have everything together. And then this one we'll just cut. And we did have that envelope. And I guess it doesn't matter if we're cutting on the envelope or on the window. But let's cut that. All right. Now, obviously, you don't want to keep it loose like this. So the way that we're going to put this together is with some elastic. Now I have elastic here. Let's see if we can actually do it with some stretchy rubber bands. Again, it's all about using your stuff. I think if we used one, it would snap. My fear is if we use multiple, then it'll want to bend on itself. But Let's try it. Now, I don't know where my single, well, no, I know where my single hole punch is and it's not accessible right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a little notch, if you can see it right there. And I'll cut a notch right there. And then that gives us just a little divot for the elastic to go. The hair is optional. <laughs> So clearly it's wanting to fold on itself. Let's see if it's still the case when we put this in there. So we're just going to slide this in or not. 
Maybe we'll do this and then slide it in. Haven't tested this out, guys. Uh, in theory, it sounds like it'll work. Whether it works in reality, that's what we're trying to figure out. Again, when I see some of the uh, put together an easy junk journal, it does involve some things. So I'm really just trying to avoid having to spend anything or having to feel like you need to have all of the things. I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of these things are accessible. Okay, so. It still moves and I think it's going to. I mean, if you do watch junk journal videos, a lot of them um, sew them in. And so, no, that's not going to work. Let's see if we can do something else where we don't have so much movement with our pages. Don't know how this is going to work. So let's see. I'm gonna run out of this one. I grabbed another one. I'm not actually going for a yellow theme. This just happened to be the one that was on top. So I think I think I'm doing this backwards. I'm trying to work from my frontward or my middle out, my middle out, then working my way in. So let's see if this makes a difference. Just trying to line these things up, but I want to get it a little underneath that middle because I don't want to impede where the fold is. So let me just tape that down just so I have a grip and then I can cut this straight. And I can do that going down. This is actually really pretty. And it doesn't need to be perfect. We're just trying to give it a little bit more stability. And we are going to be decorating. Oh. Okay. So if I cut that one, that opens. And that opens. And then I want to do these two together. Let's see if that will open. <laughs> well, no, because don't I? All right, so you can stagger. So that one's, <laughs> I don't know if you can see what's going on, but if I want to be able to open this, you can't stagger your pieces like this with this particular method. If you were sewing, it wouldn't be a problem. Um, and whether you're using a sewing machine or whether you're using um, just hand sewing, it wouldn't be a problem. But because we're taping it, that's where the problem is coming in. So, and once I do this, you'll, you'll be able to see what I mean. We're testing it out, and I would definitely recommend if you are interested in making your own, do the same. I mean, there's no rules. You're literally just using some of your stuff and making some other stuff out of it. So you don't have to worry that it's not going to look perfect. I mean, that's kind of the point, right? You're just trying to get your creative juices going. So that one opens all right. And so let's tape this together. Put a little piece just to keep it together. And we'll just tape this middle section. And we'll open that up. And 
nothing's taped to this. We're just taping the, the papers together. And we'll do this one. And I think if we want to stagger, we will have to tape them separately. Again, we're, we're doing this together, so I'm not sure what the finished product will look like. So we'll tape that down. And we've got this little piece here. And so long as they don't touch each other, then we can use them in the same page. And we'll tape that down as well. And we don't want it higher than the paper or it'll stick. I want the pocket on the bottom. <laughs> okay. And we'll put that together. And actually, I think. Oh, oh, oh. We do want to make sure we're not taller than our paper. Creating things isn't always pretty, guys. Clearly. <laughs> I could use an extra pair of hands, but we'll figure it out. And again, I don't think we want to go farther than the paper. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. bit there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and fold on um, do tape on all the other sides. You've seen how I'm doing this. Again, because I want things to be able to fold, I'm not going to go past the little pieces of paper that I have. And once I'm done with that, then I'll bring you guys back. Alrighty, so it is definitely a bit thicker because we have all of that washi in the middle. And I think that might also help with the stability of the cover. So Let's see what we put together. Now, because of the way that I tape this, this here stays in this page right here. But if you see this one, the other side of this page is in the back. And then you flip. Oh. And I think inherently that's the problem. Because normally I think that what I'm... Normally, I think when people are tucking the various pages in, they'll do a small size paper, then a big size paper, then a small size paper, so you're not dealing with multiple different sizes on one piece of paper. Now, I don't think that looks bad. I just, if you're doing it in this method, it does make it challenging because your tape really can't cross over into each other. And then that's our middle. And again, that's the back size of the things with that piece of paper. And that's the other side of the piece of paper. And then this is the back of our book. So let's see if when we put this in with the rubber bands, if it doesn't do that folding on itself thing. It still wants to, but certainly not as much as before. And that's our 
her little junk journal. Now what I'm going to do next is all of these spots that I had little spots like this, I'm going to make it into a pocket. And so for this one, I'll just glue the sides. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just putting glue on the sides there and that leaves me a pocket inside. Don't want to get glue everywhere though. <laughs> oh, seriously. Okay, this pocket size, or that's the envelope and that's not open, so we're gonna cut this, just a thin strip. on the sides here and I, I seriously think this is just more awkward because not only do I need to work around the piece of paper but I need to make sure you guys can see it <laughs> and I, I do these things blind I don't know what it is that you're seeing until I edit so yeah and glue this as well now I certainly could have left that open and this could have been something else, but we're just gonna glue that down. I'm gonna fold this over. And we're gonna just kind of hold it down so that that glue can adhere. And the two pieces of paper that are having trouble sticking together, they're really heavy cardstock. And I think that's why the glue's not going down as quickly as I'd like it to. But yeah, it's, it's good now. Okay, now you're probably thinking, all right, Johanna, so you basically taped a whole bunch of pieces of paper together. How are you gonna use this? Well, uh, you can actually cover these things up. Now this is functional to me. This is functional to me. This we can cover. That's functional, that's functional. I mean, more of this is functional than isn't. Wait, what happens if we just tape our, well, let's, let's do that. Instead of having to deal with the rubber band. So if we kind of center that, let's run some washi down this side. You know what? I have thicker washi. Maybe that'll help. Now the bows clearly aren't going in the right direction, but I just, I want to test this out. Oh yeah, let's, let's do that. <laughs> let's get the washi on without having to worry about it going on the folder. I know guys, gold star teacher, gold star teacher. All right, now let's kind of bring this up and then put that down and then fold that over and then do the other side, which I'm hoping will be easier because now we've got it from moving. Fine. Well, and because we have a thick one, let's just 
right over the edge here too. So just kind of center it. Doesn't need to be even, it just needs to be straight. And we'll cut that. Because you're not running any kind of elastic on the spine, this is really more decorative, but it also does give us some protection in there. And we have a little journal. Now, from what I've seen here on YouTube, what people then do when they have their base is they decorate the pages. So it's not like you are making yourself like a happy planner or Aaron Condren or Kiki K. This isn't going to be everything is symmetrical and there's nice neat boxes. This is really a creative journal. If you need to think of this as an art journal. And when you work in yours, if you are making one of these, this isn't even something where you start with page one and you just go through that way you can actually start in the middle you can start working on this you can start from the back and work your way front really it's just about inspiring yourself on how to just use some of your stuff put it together and then if you wanted to do like a daily journal or a faith journal or a self-care journal or whatever it's it's really just it, it's not supposed to be practical <laughs> I guess is the best way to put this. This is not like your planner. Uh, this is really about just pushing yourself, pushing the boundaries, and just realizing that there are no right or wrong, and you can do whatever you want to. All right, I think I'm gonna stop the video here. Now, if this is something that you're interested in and you want to see me work in this, then let me know in the comments below if you want like a part two where I show you how to decorate some of it or just some options. Again, whatever you're making, you're gonna use your colorway, you're gonna use your product. So I'm not gonna really show you how to make one of these so that it can look exactly like mine, like you were buying something store-bought, but I will just show you some of the ways that I would do it, if you're interested. Again, you, you may not be, so we'll just see how it goes. But that's it for me for now, guys. As always, thank you so much for following me on this journey. You do have all of the permission to just play with your stuff, and as always, aloha.